Fix unidentified network no internet access on Windows. Method 1, disable antivirus software if you're running one. Note number 1, if you have to temporarily disable it to install other software, you should re-enable it as soon as you're done. If you're connected to the internet or a network while your antivirus software is disabled, your computer is vulnerable to attacks. Note number 2, this action would require the admin access. Method 2, if you are able to access internet in safe mode with network, then perform a clean boot, e.g., try disabling McAfee network agent service if you're running a pre-installed McAfee security app. See useful instructions at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2c7 udino. Note, after troubleshooting, start your system normally after clean boot troubleshooting. Method 3, re-register DNS. Perform the below commands as the admin user, IP protocol configuration slash flushens IP protocol configuration slash registered and IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew restart your PC and check if you still face this issue. If you're also using some router, first, backup or download current configurations. Then, restart your router and slash or modem device. Try upgrading router firmware first. AND. Reset your device. Method 4, try the following commands. Netshare and IP reset reset log.txt. Netshare Winsock Reset IP Protocol Configuration Slash Registered and IP Protocol Configuration Slash Flush and IP Protocol Configuration Slash Release If the issue persists, assign an IP address for your wireless network, if you're using one, and then try to ping your router, press Windows key and the R key and type ncpa.cpl. Right-click on the wireless network that you use and select Properties. Highlight or select Internet Protocol Version 4 and click on Properties. Select Use the following IP address. Tip, if your router IP address is 192.168.1.1, Run IP protocol configuration, and the other computer IP address is in the same sequence 192.168.1.2, then try to assign 192.168.1.3 and the subnet mass 255.255.255.0 and press enter. Close the network properties window. Open the command prompt and type ping 127.0.0.1 and press enter. Type ping 192.168.1.1 and press enter. Type ping 192.168.1.3 and press enter. Restart your computer when you get the job done. Method 5. Install the latest network adapters, network card driver, reboot your system. Run the network troubleshooter in Windows. Method 6, click start. In the search box type services.msc. Right-click WLAN Auto Config and go to Properties. Select Automatic from the Startup Type drop-down menu. Head to http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 29 IHR for more troubleshooting tips. Method 7.
DHCP broadcast. Warning, modifying registry settings incorrectly can cause serious problems that may prevent your computer from booting properly. We cannot guarantee that any problems resulting from the configuring of registry settings can be solved. Modifications of these settings are at your own risk. Open the start menu type regedit in the start search area and press enter click on continue in the UAC prompt locate and then click the following registry subkey, hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash backslash parameters backslash interfaces backslash GUID. In this registry path, click the GUID subkey that corresponds to the network adapter that is connected to the network. In the right pane, locate DHCP Conforce broadcast flag. Right click DHCP Conforce broadcast flag, and then click modify. In the value data box, type 0, and then click OK. Close registry editor and restart your computer to apply the changes. The value of zero disables this registry entry. You can use this registry entry to prevent Windows Vista from using the DHCP broadcast flag. For power users only, make the best of network troubleshooter event logs. Other voices, one. Use one connection or bridge connections. 2. Disable virtual Ethernet adapters, if you're running some VMware or any other virtual machine software. 3. Disable, then re-enable network connection later. 4. For Windows 10 users, turn off the airplane mode. And. Disable the fast startup feature. 5. Change current DNS servers, use a different DNS server. 6. With the admin right, run the following commands, one by one. IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew netshare winsock reset netshare and IP reset IP protocol configuration slash flush and IP protocol configuration slash registered and netshare in TCP set heuristics disabled netshare in TCP set global auto tuning level equals disabled netshare in TCP set global RSS equals enabled netshare in TCP show global 7. Use a static IP address instead. 8. Run Windows built-in troubleshooters via the command prompt, msdt.exe id network diagnostics web msdt.exe id network diagnostics inbound msdt.exe id network diagnostics network adapter last but not least, try performing a system restore when you backed up your personal stuff. <laughs> 